Hello YouTube. It is yes, me back from a break. Uh, Shani so fly. How's everyone doing this evening? Yes, I know I've been away from the makeup world for a pretty long time, but I'm gonna keep my nose in the business but not myself in the business. Don't even say that. This video has taken me six tries because I cannot get my lighting right. So this is the last time. Hopefully it's correct. I'm only going over four things today. Very simple. It's a quick review on some things that I picked up and I wanted to let you know how I felt about it. But I cannot get the lighting right. So hopefully this is the last time. So as we were walking through, we being me and Kel's mania. She's over there too. Um, we were walking through Walmart and she noticed the Maybelline Fit Me collection. It's a new collection. I want to say it came out in December. I don't know how long it's been in Ruston. Probably not that long because nothing's in Ruston. So we're going to start off and I got three things from that collection and I got one thing from the new CoverGirl collection. So we're going to start that. Okay, so the first thing I got was the um, liquid, con uh, liquid concealer, liquid foundation, a concealer, and a powder. Now, this Fit Me collection is supposed to be easy for people to match their colors if they don't know their colors. Um, first time makeup people who aren't very sure what they're doing and such and such. So I decided to go ahead and try it because I've been in a mist of foundations. As you can see, I've been picking up foundations left and right, drugstore of course, because I cannot get my color right. I just I can't get it back. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm naturally an MC42 for MAC, but I've been using Revlon Color Stay for a long while. And then I went on a cruise called a tan, and it's just been jacked up since then. And now my winter colors finally coming in. I'm starting to lose my tan, so it's just not working. Yes, I have six, con six foundations that I use. I'm trying to figure out which one. So um, this Fit Me definitely looks lighter than what I am, but it definitely matches my skin. It gives me very lightweight coverage. It also gives me very good coverage. Like, it covers up blemishes. So with the foundation alone, which I just don't wear a foundation alone, but with the foundation alone, it's definitely a good product. I applied it with my um, Sipling Brush by Sony Kashuk. So it gives it that lightweight finish, and I just buffed it out. I didn't use too much because I'm very heavy-handed when it comes to concealer. I mean, when it comes to the foundation. The second thing is the uh, Fit Me Concealer. Oh, I'm sorry. This is in 2:30, and the match to it is 20. The concealer, and this is very, very light for what my concealer is, which is a CoverGirl concealer. And it's this dark compared to this white thing. And I was very surprised I put it under my eye. I didn't put it on my blemishes. I just, yeah, I did put it on my blemishes. And I put it under my eye, and it really matched. Like, it matches perfectly with, I guess you have to use it with this foundation. But it worked very well. And the third thing of that line is um, 230 Fit Me um, Press Powder. And it looks like this. It's in this cute little box. And I know you're saying this powder is definitely too white for me. You're right, because... I thought it was too as well. It's definitely too light for me. It gives me an ashy after color. It makes me look like I've been in a snowstorm. So um, I just topped it off with my Max Refined Golden um, bronzer with the shimmers in it. I don't have this on today. I just have on my Revlon Photo Ready medium to dark powder with this con um, this, this bronzer. Sorry, tongue twister. Okay, so I I do like the collection, but I'm not a fan of the powder. The fourth thing that I picked up is this CoverGirl lipstick in Enchantress. It's 365. It's a really pretty pink color, as you can see. Very festive for going out. It looks like this swatch, and it has shimmer, well, glitter in it, shimmer in it, a very, very hard shimmer to get off your lips definitely wipe lipstick off and I still had glitter all over my mouth. Um, it also stains your lips, I think, because after my lips were still bright pink and I just topped it off with this Revlon lip gloss 
and it gave me like the pinkest, brightest lips ever. So it definitely, I find it to stain your lips. I also find it to have a leftover shimmer. I think this is the um, one that they said after a week of use, it moisturizes your lips. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I saw a commercial. But it definitely stains and definitely shimmers. So quick recap. I gave it two thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up, and I'll probably never use it again. So, I, I'm not going to waste it. I'll probably wear it as a backup powder. I'll probably use it since it's so light to set my concealer. That could be a good thing. And just go over it with some uh, bronzer. Definitely. I'll try that. So, always comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Heck, I don't know because I didn't use it yet. So, let me know. Love you. See you soon.